everyone. Welcome back to Scrapbooks Made Easy with Beth. Today I am going to show you a fun page layout that you can use for Memorial Day, 4th of July, uh, any of the armed forces or any of our services uh, using the new US of Yay. So here's a close up of the pictures of all of the papers. And I love now you've got the coordinating card stock that you can use up there. And then also, here are all of the embellishments. So they are both sided. So you've got things on both sides of them. Some are different colors, some are the same. These are blue on the other side. So the embellishments, they're really nice and sturdy if you haven't used our embellishments. And today I am going to be showing you a page layout using uh, just a white piece of cardstock and two of the designer sheets. That's all you need. So the first thing we're going to do is take one of the designer papers. And I have chosen this one here that has USA on it. And you're going to want to cut it. So the USA is this way. You do have to pay attention to that. And I'm going to cut two and a half by two and a half again. So two and a half by 12, two and a half by 12. And now I'm going to cut two that are one and a half. So two strips that are one and a half. And another one that's one and a half. And then this is just going to be extra to use at another time. And then I'm going to take another sheet. I'm just going to set these aside. Another sheet, and I have chosen this one. It says United States of America, United States of America. Uh, you're not going to see this one as much like you are this one. So I wasn't as worried about the direction. And I'm going to cut two strips that are going to be just a quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to make these, and I do want them to go the same way on this particular part of it. So I'm going to make these three quarters of an inch. So right there, and I'm going to make two of them. So there's one, and there's another. All right, and now I'm looking to make four, four by five and three quarters. So I'm going to go back this way and now I'm going to cut this at four. Actually, I'm going to cut this one at five and three quarters. So this one will be five and three quarters and then another one at five and three quarters. And then I want it also to be four. So four inches and four inches, or yeah, four inches. And I'm looking for four of those, so there's two. And now I'm going to cut two more. Four and four. All right, now I'm going to take a piece of white card stock. And out of this, I want to go three and a half. So there's three and a half. And I want three, three and a half by three and a halves. So another three and a half. Three and a half. I'm going to have to cut one more time to get that last one since I didn't use the whole paper. So there's three, three and a halves. And now I want to do four by three and a half. So that one's four. And now I'm going to do the half. So three and a half. Three and a half, and three and a half. Okay, 
So now I have those all cut. And now we can start putting our papers together. So those are cut. Now I'm just gonna take two base papers. So you want something that's gonna look good. I like these two together. So I'm gonna put these two down as my base colors. Move these over here. And now you're just gonna start building. Make sure you guys can see those. All right, so my USAs, this is why you needed to make sure that the, um, they went the right way. So I have the USA and the USA. And then I'm gonna take the bottom ones. And again, you wanna make sure that if you use the USA or use something with letters or words or some kind of a direction you have that. Same thing here, that says United States. I'm gonna put that up there. And then this one, the same thing, it says United States on it, so I wanna make sure that I'm going the right way. United States, United States. And I have these on the bottom. And now I'm just gonna take my four by or five and a half by these that I made here. And these are going to be for photos. So I would put one down there. This is gonna be a frame. So even though this direction is the wrong way, you're not gonna notice it, so that's okay. And then I'm going to take, I have three by threes. I'm gonna put two photos that way. And then I think I'll use this one in the middle. And then these are the bigger ones. And you could put those down here to put a photo on. Remember, these are just a little bit bigger. So you have a little bit more room there. And the white's going to be a frame. So you can go underneath or over. It just depends on what photos you have. And there you have it, a super quick easy page for 4th of July, any armed services, Memorial Day, anything like that. And then you can use the embellishments. So if you wanted to use some of the embellishments here, you could move this up, put some of the stars right on the edge there. Or I kind of like it too if it's going over your photo a little bit. Or you could put it at the bottom here. I love this one, I think it's so pretty. Or you could have some stars or banners from the front or the top. You could do this one both sides. Still see the USA, but it kind of tones it down a little bit. So use your embellishments to kind of go around. Um, I, you could even cut one up and put it at the top of one of your photo mats or the bottom there. So just kind of play around. These are really pretty, easy to cut to put in just part of spots if you wanted to put it at the bottom of a photo there. So just kind of play around with your embellishments and see what you like. There's lots of options with these and they're so pretty. So I hope you enjoy that and I will see you next week.